Scientists in Singapore are going big on new materials that can morph and adapt to what's around them. Research conducted in a new first-of-its-kind facility launched today can be used for many areas such as medicine and renewable energy. The $200 million investment could result in the world's next scientific breakthrough. Chua Tian Tian with this report. Every day, thousands of litres at reservoirs are being tested by sensors for quality. But scientists want to make this easier. They're creating membrane filters with materials that are smart enough to detect pollutants in the water. This means knowing when to close pores on the surface to prevent these impurities from going through. More of these so-called intelligent materials are being worked on at this new institute by the National University of Singapore. These can be used in other areas like medicine and life sciences. For instance, pills that only release drugs when they meet cancer cells, leaving the rest of the body unaffected. The facility spans about 8,000 square meters across four levels. Now it has a total of about 20 labs looking at different research areas. This one which I'm at looks at building and designing new materials that go into electronics and energy storage products. We're really looking for what's going to be the next breakthrough in the future. I think that what we're going to do here is going to have impact not only material science, but it's going to have impact in healthcare, it's going to have impact uh, in industry 4.0, it's going to have impact in mathematics, it's going to have impact in physics. Education Minister Chan Chun Singh attended the launch event. It's the sixth research centre of excellence and the first in the past 10 years. The $200 million funding over 10 years comes from the university and the education ministry. And you has put a lot of investment in terms of recruitment of new talents and mentoring, coaching them to do better. We're going to bring all these professors from all over the world and put them in a position so that our students can be trained well, so that they become the future. The facility will benefit more than 100 researchers and PhD students, such as the life sciences, engineering and computer science.